Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Tuesday, March 15th of 2022. Just two days away from St. Patrick's Day. Pretty excited about it and pretty excited about the first story. Earlier today, Pints and Panels released their Beer and Girl Scout cookie pairing list and I'm here for it. Seriously, I think this might complete me. Now, to order more cookies through my daughter, she's a Girl Scout, since the ones that I had earlier were mysteriously eaten. Okay, not so mysteriously eaten. They went here, a lot of them. <laughs> if you want to order some, I've got my daughter's Girl Scout link in the show notes. And for the pairing list, well, you can check out Pints and Panels list as well. Uh, it's in the show notes as well. And who wouldn't want to be in downtown Eagle, Idaho, where a long-promised brewery is moving forward with plans? Well, let me back up because let me tell you what these plans call for. It's a brewery, a tap room, and a residence all in one. Yes, it's probably the only homeowners association where I want to be a part of it. Do I get to paint this color? No? Will there still be beer? Yeah? Okay, I can live with that. Uh, Gem State Brewing Company is posting regular updates about the process that they hope to complete this spring on their Facebook page. Apparently a tree recently had to be removed from the site, but fear not, they're working with a local woodworker to bring the wood inside the building. Gem State Brewing will be family and dog friendly, feature indoor and outdoor seating, offer 15 taps with beer, wine, and cider, and in addition, Gem State Brewing plans to have an event space for rent. The residence includes a two-bedroom condo above the brewery. Sadly, no restaurant space, but you can bring uh, food in if you're a patron there. I hope they get a tap line into the kitchen that's upstairs in that condo. It's certainly one way to make a building multi-use and have multiple streams of income and multiple tap streams too. For the full story, of course, the link is in the show notes. And I will wrap it up with some news that could save you some heartache, maybe heartburn, and some cash, though not much for some of them. It's a list of bourbons that you want to avoid. The story is called 12 Bourbons You'll Regret Buying and the descriptions do not leave me wanting at all. Uh, the descriptions like overwhelming taste of leather and tobacco and a lot of bitterness or tastes like someone mixed bourbon and maple syrup and then added some artificial sweetener for the hell of it. The nicest review mentions it's fun to throw into blind tastings and really it's not really that nice. There are some downright despicable descriptors for some of the others that honestly made me feel just a slice bit queasy when I was reading them. You can read more at the link that is in the show notes there. The Booze Buddy Update is brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping small businesses, breweries, and independent business owners who need affordable merchant credit card processing solutions, point of sale solutions, and expertise. Go to GreenMountainPayments.com. And coming up, well, we'll probably talk about some green beer and maybe even a beer that isn't green, but is totally still acceptable to drink on St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> Not St. Patrick's Day's tomorrow. That's what we'll be talking about tomorrow. Anyway, remember, don't drink and drive. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that supports your local community. I'll see you again tomorrow.